Greetings. Today, as I sit here drinking my morning coffee, we find ourselves in the midst of a third wave of COVID-19 and in the middle of another province-wide lockdown. I know for some this is a difficult time, and from what I read on Facebook and other social media sites, some people, including some of our fellow Christians, followers of Christ, are finding this more than just a little frustrating. This morning I want to offer some advice in these frustrating times, to offer some encouragement and hope. I want to encourage you to consider deeply some advice from an individual who is considered to have been one of the wisest people to have ever lived. In chapter 3 of Proverbs, Solomon says, and I quote, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your paths straight. End of quote. What does it mean to trust in the Lord? We Christians are called believers, but many times we are more like unbelieving believers. We trust our friends, our bank accounts, the stock market, even sometimes government more than we trust God. In these verses in Proverbs, which I just read, Solomon exhorts us, exhorts us to trust in the Lord wholeheartedly. It's a call not for mere just intellectual acknowledgement of God and his ways, but for an intimate personal relationship with the maker of heaven and earth. The sense is that to trust the Lord is to walk with the Lord. Think about your close friends. Your trust in them grew as you walked with them, as you talked with them, as you got to know them. You became more trusting. We know where walking on our own gets us. To walk alone, to rely on one's own skills and knowledge to navigate life, results in frustration, anger, and a lot of unhappiness. Trusting in the Lord means walking with Him intimately, patiently seeking His face and guidance. As we trust in our Creator and lean not on our own understanding, verse 6 tells us He, that is the Lord, makes our paths straight. The paths of life on which the Lord leads us often seem winding and bumpy to us. Yet from God's perspective, these paths are taking us exactly where He wants us. Brothers and sisters in Christ, as we all struggle with another lockdown, may I encourage you to meditate on these words of advice from Solomon. And let me read them again, this time using Eugene Peterson's paraphrase, the message. Trust God from the bottom of your heart. Don't try to figure out everything on your own. Listen for God's voice in everything you do, everywhere you go. He's the one who will keep you on track. Let's bow our heads in prayer. Gracious Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning confessing that uh, we are frustrated with this ongoing pandemic. Lord, we know in our heads that you are in complete control of the situation, but Father, our hearts have not caught up with our heads. Forgive us. We would ask that your Spirit would work in our hearts to encourage us to walk with you, to talk with you, as Peterson said, to trust you from the bottom of our hearts. Help us trying to figure out everything on our own, but to listen to your voice, for your voice, in everything we do. Amen. God bless you this day.